it's Hannah from Fitness Together and Matthews. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly perform a push-up. Push-ups are a super common exercise, they're a great exercise, but we see people perform them wrong a lot of the time. And so in order to stay safe and get the most out of it, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the biggest mistakes and how we can correct those. You can perform push-up from your toes, from your knees, or an incline. But I do suggest that if you're new to push-ups or if push-ups from your toes are too difficult for you, to try them at the incline or from your knees, just so that you can keep your form the best you can until you're, you're able to do push-ups from your toes. So to start in that high plank position, first thing to note is that you want your wrist right underneath your elbows, okay? You don't want your hands out here or too far underneath. You want a nice straight line from your shoulders down to your wrists. Now, for your back and the rest of your body, you want to keep a nice neutral position so you don't want to see any butts in the air or you don't want to see any sagging in. So in order to do that, you want to think about tucking your belly button back to your spine to make sure that your back doesn't cave in and then keep your glutes nice and tight. Once we're in a nice straight line, we're going to drop our chest down to the ground and then push it back up. One note here when you're doing these is that you don't want your elbows to be straight out to the side. So think about a 45 degree angle between your side and your elbow so that when you go to the ground, your elbows aren't flaring out. And this will help protect your shoulders a little bit more. Lastly, you wanna think about keeping your eyes up. So no looking towards the ground or towards your feet. You wanna keep your eyes in front of you to maintain that neutral position on your spine. And then as you go down, use that chest to push you back up. All right, so to recap one more time, make sure when you start that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, that you keep your eyes up, core tight, 45 degree angle as you go down, and make sure as you go down and come up that your hips aren't sagging or up in the air.